Page 79. Okay. Okay, thanks. Page 79. Mister, I don't have the book. Your book with me, Azan. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's in front of me now. I send you a pic. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute yourself. To avoid the noise, please unmute yourself. Ready? Did you find your book? Yes. Okay. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to study checkpoint. Chapter 6, Detective and Ghost Stories. The main topic of this chapter is Detective and Ghost Stories, okay? And here uh, you will find two examples of detective stories and about two examples of ghost stories, okay? But the ghost story we have, um, it consists of uh, three parts, I think, okay? Um, The main idea of the first part here, or the first page, talking about the, the topic of the chapter. In this chapter, we shall be looking at examples of two different types of uh, prose fiction, detective stories and ghost stories. And here, look at the most important part here is to underline this. The features of detective and ghost stories is to, uh, however, both charms of fiction depend very much on the they depend on what? Building suspense. They depend on building suspense, on the creation of sinister. Sinister, this is the, uh, when you feel that something bad or even is going to happen. And mysterious atmosphere, okay? You can underline these lines and very often in ingenious and cleverly constructed plots. Okay? Skillful. Ingenious means skillful. So again, the main topic of this chapter or um, it, detective stories and ghost stories, okay? Uh, what does it mean detective story? Who can answer me? What does it mean detective stories? Oh, I think you know ghost stories. But detective, Yahya, you can answer me? Uh, okay. Yahya, when you raised your hand. Uh, I think uh, they are people who solve uh, crimes and uh... yes there is a crime there is a crime okay and what is the main character you can find in a detective story the one who is searching for the clues to find the criminal what do we call this person Maisam, you can answer Maisam. 
If you want to answer, detective. yes, detective. If you want to answer, you can unmute yourself. Now it's up to you, okay? Then mute yourself again. So the main character in detective stories is the detective, the one who, who searches for clues to find the criminal, okay? Now, the second part of this page here, this is an introduction for the uh, reading text here. Crime stories depend strongly on complicated plots, which very often contain an unexpected twist at the end by which the criminal is finally revealed. Okay, another key feature of these, okay, so this is, it contains complicated plots. Detective stories contain complicated blots, okay? Integrated actions. And at the end, the, the criminal must be revealed, okay? Another key feature of those stories in the character of the master detective, yes. This is the most important character in the detective story, the master detective who is responsible for solving the crimes. In the following extracts, we encounter two such characters as they meet their client, the first extract focuses on the legendary Victorian private detective, Charles Holmes. And this is the main topic or the main, uh, sorry, character in this story, Charles Holmes. Okay, from the story, The Speckled Band. Okay, I have a surprise for you. You can watch the movie, okay, about uh, this topic or this extract. Okay, there is a movie. And also, I, uh, I'll send you uh, uh, the rest of the text. You have only um, the first page of the of this story in this uh, in this book here, but I'll send you the rest to enjoy your time reading it. Okay. Created by Sir Arthur Conan uh, Doyle, the second the contemor uh, contemporary Botswana detective, Mama Ramatsui, from Number One Ladies Detective Agency book. This is the second text, Mama Ramatsui. Okay. So the first text will be about Charles Holmes, and the second text will be about Mama Ramatsui. Okay. Let's, uh, Mr. What pages, what we will take? How many pages? Uh, according to the time. Actually, I, I, I plan to finish two reading texts because they are so easy. You can find um, some words that can be discussed easily in two or three minutes. Uh, but let's talk about the features. Before we start, let's talk about this. What can you see here in front of you? Uh, two uh, men and one woman, and they are talking. Two men and a I woman? Think, yes. I think please, it's please, uh, look, 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 wait, 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 to stop this uh, mess. Raise your hand, okay? And then when I say your name, you can unmute yourself and answer, okay? Uh, Omar? Omar Ayman? Uh, Mr. Like two men. Uh, uh, two men, two men, please, two men, two men. And a woman? Sorry. Two men and a woman. Yes. Like, uh, two men are asking uh, her for something. What happened? Like that. Yes. Two men are asking a woman some questions. Okay. Uh, I have uh, a listening track for this. You can find it easily on YouTube. Regular in my habits. Free during the last month by the untimely death of the has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. Who in a lady dressed in black and heavy outset. I thought at any rate that I should call you and give you the chance. My dear fellow, I would not miss it for anything. Ah, pray draw up to it. The woman of thirty, but her hair was shot well, which makes me shiver. Said the ah, pray, my friend and associate. A lady dressed in black and heavily veiled, who had been sitting at the window, rose as we entered. Good morning, madam, said Holmes cheerily. My name is... Can you hear the sound well now? Yes, Mr. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So now you can, you, can, you, can, you can look at your book or look at the screen while the uh, speaker is uh, talking. Read okay? okay. I have no keener pleasure than in following Holmes in his professional investigations okay. and in admiring the rapid deductions as swift as intuitions and yet always founded on a logical basis with which he unraveled the problems which were submitted to him. I rapidly threw on my clothes and was ready in a few minutes to accompany my friend down to the sitting room. 
A lady dressed in black and heavily veiled who had been sitting at the window... Now it didn't start. ...rose as we entered. Yes. Good morning, madam, Good said morning. Holmes cheerily. My name is Sherlock Holmes. This is my intimate friend and associate, Dr. Watson, before whom you can speak as freely as before myself. Ha! Ah. I'm glad to see that Mrs. Hudson has had the good sense to light the fire. Pray draw up to it. And I shall order you a cup of hot coffee, for I observe that you are shivering. It is not the cold which makes me shiver, said the woman in a low voice, changing her seat as requested. What then? It is fear, Mr. Holmes. It is terror. She raised her veil as she spoke and we could see that she was indeed in a pitiable state of agitation, her face all drawn and grey, with restless, frightened eyes, like, like those of a hunted animal. Her features and figure were those of a woman of thirty, but her hair was shot with premature grey, and her expression was weary and haggard. Sherlock Holmes ran her over with one of his quick, all-comprehensive glances. You must not fear, said he soothingly, bending forward and patting her forearm. We shall soon set matters right, I have no doubt. You have come in by train this morning, I see. You know me, then? No, but I observe the second half of a return ticket in the palm of your left glove. You must have started early, and yet you had a good drive in a dog cart along heavy roads before you reached the station. The lady gave a violent start and stared in bewilderment at my companion. There is no mystery, my dear madam, he said, smiling. The left arm of your jacket is spattered with mud in no less than seven places. The marks are perfectly fresh. There is no vehicle save a dog cart which throws up mud in that way, and then only when you sit on the left-hand side of the driver. Whatever your reasons may be, you are perfectly correct, said she. I started from home before six, reached Leatherhead at twenty past, and came in by the first train to Waterloo. Sir, I can stand this strain no longer. I shall go mad if it continues. I have no one to turn to, none, save only one who cares for me, and he, poor fellow, can be of little aid. I have heard of you, Mr. Holmes. I have heard of you from Mrs. Farintosh, who you helped in the hour of her sore need. It was from her that I had your address. Oh, sir, do you not think you could help me to and at least throw a little light through the dense darkness which surrounds me? At present it is out of my power to reward you for your services. But in a month or two I shall be married with the control of my own income. And then at least you shall not find me ungrateful. Holmes turned to his desk and unlocking it drew out a small case book which he consulted. Farintosh, said he. Ah, yes, I recall the case. It was concerned with an opal tiara. I think it was before your time, Watson. I can only say, madam, that I shall be happy to devote the same care to your case as I did to that of your friend. As to reward, my profession is its reward. But you are at liberty to defray whatever expenses I may be put to at the time which suits you best. And now I beg that you will lay before us everything that may help us in forming an opinion upon the matter. Alas, replied our visitor, the very horror of my situation. This is the rest of the story, okay? The, uh, I'll send you the, uh, um, the full one, okay? This is just a part of it to discuss. Please turn off your cam, please. Okay, please turn off your cam. Okay, uh, let's discuss it and discuss the, the meaning of the new words, discuss some, uh, uh, the meaning of some parts, okay? Uh, first of all, what do you think about the character of the detective? What do you think about the character of the detective? Who can answer me? What are the characteristics that must be in a detective? Nawaf Tarak, can unmute yourself? The good characteristics in a detective are um, he must have 
keen sight to know yes. what was happening. Yes. From what you listen to now, okay, what are the characteristics that must be, that, th thanks a lot, Nawaf, okay? Uh, what are other characteristics that must be in the uh, uh, detective? Muhammad Zuraqat? He must be smart. So yes. He can, you know, he can negotiate something very well and yes. do an argument. That's right. So thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Rafat. Hur? Hur, you can unmute yourself and speak. He must, he must have tons of patience. Yes. So listen to all the details. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, Abdurrahman Hisham. Thanks, Hur. What are the characteristics that you can find? In a detective, yes, okay, thank you, Abdurrahman. And what is the main character here? The name of the main character, the name of the main character, the detective is called. Sherlock Holmes and his assistant, Mister or Doctor. Mrs. Yes, Doctor Watson. That's right. Okay. Here, this is Doctor Watson, and Sherlock Holmes. This is the detective. Doctor Watson. Doctor Watson is his uh, assistant. Okay. So uh, I'll ask you now about the meaning of some words. Uh, associate here, what does it mean? Uh, my name is Shark Holmes. This is my intimate friend and associate. You can open your uh, booklet, okay? Page 93. Okay, you can open your booklet, part one, page 93. Yes, here I have eight students raising their hands. Shahd, you can answer. Uh, business partner? Yeah, what? Business partner. Yes, partner. Generally, partner. Okay. Uh, so, I so think associate means a partner. Okay. Um, intimate. My intimate friend. Mustafa Khalid. Uh, Mr. Do you have a close friendship? Yes. He is one of his uh, close friends. Okay. My name is Sherlock Holmes. This is the one who is speaking. This is my intimate friend and associate, Dr. Watson, before whom you can speak as freely as before myself. Okay. Here they are talking to uh, the woman, like in the second page here. He is addressing the woman now, and he is trying to make her calm. Okay, to to say all the details she uh, she knows about the case. Uh, I am glad to see that Mrs. Hudson. This is Mrs. Hudson. Her name is Mrs. Hudson. This is the uh, uh, had uh, has had the good sense to light the fire, pray, draw up to it. Okay, Mrs. Hudson, this is, you can say this is the, the woman uh, uh, who prepares the place or cleans the place for them. Okay, uh, she, uh, he said that Mrs. Hudson had ha has had the good sense to light the fire. Pray, draw up uh, to it, please. Pray means it, please come or get close to the fire and I shall order you a cup of hot coffee. Here he noticed something when he said, please uh, uh, get close to the fire. What did he notice? What did he notice? Uh, Madara, I, I have a name here, Madara. Who is this one? You can you? Uh, Mister, what's the name of the movie? This is for Wes? Yes, yes. Yes, Fawaz, the name of the movie is Speckled, Speckled uh, Ban. Okay, this is here, the, the name, Speckled Ban. Okay. Okay, look, you can search YouTube, this here, Speckled Ban. Okay, you can find the movie, and I'll send you the whole story, okay, to uh, read it. Again, my question was, what did he notice? This, uh, this is the first thing he noticed. Okay, uh, Shahd? 
he noticed the woman uh, shivering. Shivering. This is why he asked her. This is the first thing he noticed. Okay, uh, 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 that she is shivering. She, so he asked her to get close to the fire, please. And I shall order you a cup of hot coffee to make. It. He 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 found that she is uh, uh, worried. Okay, or something is worrying her. So he is trying to make. Uh, or to put her at ease, okay, and let her speak freely, okay? For I observe that you are shivering. I'm not cold. It's not cold that makes me shiver, said the woman in a low voice, it's changing her seat as requested. What then? It's fear, Mr. Holmes. It's stir. She raised her veil as she spoke, and we could see that she was indeed a pitiable, in a pitiable state, state of agitation. So... What does it mean in a pitiful state of agitation? Pitiful, pitiful, in a pitiful state of agitation. Yahya um, Ayman. Pitiful means uh, feeling of uh, sympathy. Sympathy towards someone. Thank you, Yahya. Uh, Yazam, agitation. Uh, agitation means worry and anxiety. Yes, so uh, she was in a bad state of, uh, she was so worried that you may feel sympathy towards her when you see someone like this. Okay, this is why he, he tries to, uh, to calm her as possible as he can. He asked her to get close to the fire to her, uh, uh, and, and even he asked her to uh, make a cup of tea for her. Okay. Uh, her face all drawn and uh, drawn and gray, with restless, frightened eyes. Restless, frightened eyes. Okay, like those of some hunted animals. Restless. When something is restless, especially the eyes, Adam means okay. Mustafa Salah. Uh, uh, it means Mr. Uh, unwilling or unable to stay real, yes. uh, to stay still. Yes, even he is oh. describing the phys physical appearance of her, of her, even of her eyes here, restless eyes. That uh, this is this happens a lot when if you feel worried, okay, like those of some hunted animals. Uh, he features a figure, where those her features, sorry, her features and figure were those of a woman of 30, but her hair was shot with a premature gray. Here, premature, what does it mean? He's even describing her hair. Mustafa Saleh, unmute yourself please after I finish. Kinsey? It uh, means that she was beginning to have uh, gray hair. Some gray hair, even though it's not the time for this or it's not the age of, of this. She, so she looks young, but uh, 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 she has some gray hair, okay, uh, uh, not in its time, you understand? Mm. And her expression, please, thanks, uh, Kenzie, mm. please unmute yourself. And her expression was weary and haggard. Her expressions. Look here, he is describing her face, he is describing her uh, features, the, uh, 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 the facial expressions, her figure, her body, okay, as a woman of 30, okay. Uh, he is even expressing uh, the, 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 her expressions, okay? Worry and haggard. What does it mean, worry? Uh, it means they're looking sick or pale. Yes, looking sick yeah. or, or pale and haggard. Do you know haggard? Uh, the same. The same, Looking yes, sick, yes, okay. Different words for the same meaning, okay. Sherlock Holmes can run here over with one of her his quick, all comprehensive glances. So when you look at someone from up to down, okay, your your look covers all the body. So why why he ran here with uh, uh, one of his quick, all comprehensive glances? Why the detective uh, uh, has to do this? Ahmad Ramadan. Ahmad Ramadan. Or this is uh, Al Jazi. Uh, 
Uh, yet. Uh, yes, Mister. Is yes. looking like this, so she will like uh, feel scared. Mm. So why why he ran over with uh, ran here over with one of his quick all comprehensive glances? Uh, why he looked at her in 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 thoroughly? Okay, from up to down. Okay, he he wants to find what. Um. What is the job like, of the detective? He, he wants to predict, at least to predict what's happening. What's her problem? Okay? So he's trying to find any clues. Okay? Any clue that uh, helps him to find out what's happening. Why she look uh, tired. Why she look worried. Okay? Thanks, Yed. Okay? You must not fear, said he soothingly. He's trying to make her calm, bending forward and patting her forearm. We shall soon set matters right. He's trying to calm her or reassure her as much as possible as he can. I have no doubt you have come in by train this morning. And here, how did he notice that? Or how did he know that she came by train? This is the first thing that uh, he noticed. Mustafa Khalid. Hor? Because, because he, he saw her hand and her... Yes, and her he found what in her hand? The second yeah. half of a return ticket in the palm of your left glove. So he could know that she came by train when he noticed the second half. Look how he uh, uh, focuses with uh, very minor details. He, he can get some uh, uh, clues, okay, or some answers for a lot of questions about the case in front of him from very minor details like this. The, the second half of a return ticket, he, he noticed this in her, uh, uh, in her hand, so he could know that, uh, he could, he could know that he, uh, she came by train, okay? Thanks, Hor. Now, I, but I observed the second uh, half of a return ticket in the palm of your left glove. You must have started early, again, you must have started early, and yet, because you know that, that this train, okay, uh, uh, starts early or comes early, and yet had a good drive in a dope car, a long heavy road before you reach the station. Oh, how could, could he know this? How could he know all these details? Here, the writer is trying to express or to uh, uh, to help us to know more about the character of uh, the detective. Okay, Lean. He noticed that her uh, her jacket uh, has mud on it. Yes. And it is fresh mud. It didn't dry yet. That's right. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, who are you? This is Lean. Thanks, Lean. Thanks so much. Okay. The lady gave a violent start and stirred in bewilderment. What does mean bewilderment? She was so... Please un unmute yourself, uh, Hor. Yes, Kinsey. She stirred in bewilderment. How good... What? In confusion. Confusion. So she was so confused. This session will finish after 10 minutes, so you can rejoin using the same link, okay? In bewilderment, okay? Bewilderment, sorry. Uh, now he's, he started to give her uh, some information about uh, how he could know what happened. There is no mystery, my dear madam, said he, smiling. The left arm of your jacket is spattered with mud. There is some spots of mud on her left jacket. So this is why uh, no less than seven places. Even he counted the places where he found these uh, uh, spots of mud. The marks are perfectly fresh. <laughs> fresh. There is no vehicle. Uh, so there is no vehicle save. Uh, save here means except for a dog cart which throws up mud in that way. And then only when you sit on the left hand side of the driver. Even he could know that she was... He could know that she was sitting on the left-hand side of the driver. Okay, 
I think this, uh, it's not impossible for anyone to be a detective, okay? Now, whatever your reasons may be, you are perfectly correct, said she. So this is the woman now who is talking. Whatever your reasons may be, you are perfectly correct. I started from home before six, reached Leatherhead at 20 past, and came at 20 past here, okay, this is in the early morning, six, okay, in the early morning, okay, and came in by the first train, she came by train to Waterloo. Sir, I can't stand this train no more. I can't stand this train, this pressure. There is a problem she, she, uh, she faces, okay? I can't stand this train, this train no, no, no longer. Okay, here, this is a negative word here. I shall go mad. Please, I'll meet yourself, please. I shall go mad if, it's, if it continues. I have no one to turn to. None. Save only one, except for one. Save here means except. Who cares for me? And he, poor fellow, can be of little aid. Okay? So now she is in bad need of help. She is searching for someone to help her. Okay? She's, she's in, in a great problem and she's searching for someone to help her. I have heard of you, Mr. Holmes. I've heard of you from Ms. Mrs. Fantosh, whom you helped in the... in the hour of her sore need. It was from her that I had your address. Oh, sir, you do not think that you could help me, too, and at least throw a little light through the dense of darkness which surrounds me. Okay? She is expressing her problem as darkness that is overwhelming her, okay? And she needs a spot of light, or she is searching for someone who can give her a spot of light, okay, to solve, to help her in her, uh, uh, in her problem. At present, it's out of my power to reward you for your services. Now, she can't uh, give him money for his services, okay? It's out of my power. This is a very good expression, out of my power. It's out of my power to reward you for your services. But in a month or six weeks, I shall be married with the control of my own income, and then at least you shall not find me ungrateful. Okay? You, won't, you will find me uh, grateful for you, for, for your services. Okay? So, but now she can't pay for his services. Holmes turned to his desk and, unlocking it, drew out a small case book which he consulted. Farintosh, said he. Ah, oh, yes, I call the case. I remember. Here, call means remember. I remember the case. It was concerned with an opal tiara. An opal tiara, you know, this is something like this. This is an opal tiara that women wear, okay? I think it was before your time, before he appointed Watson as his assistant. I can only say, madam, that I shall be happy to devote the same care to your case as I did to that of your friend. As to reward my profession, it, as, as to reward my profession is its own reward. So he considered his profession as his own reward. He enjoys his work, okay? He enjoys what he's doing, okay? But you are at liberty to defray means to pay, okay, whatever expenses I may be put to at the time which suits you best. And now I beg that you will be lay before us everything. Lay before us means to tell us everything that may help us in forming an opinion upon the matter, okay? Now uh, I'll ask you some questions about what I just read. Uh, why was the woman shivering? A very easy question. Why was the woman shivering? Adam? Adam? Muhammad Zuraqat? it was because she was scared yes she wasn't uh, she, she didn't feel cold okay but she was worried or scared this is fair not yes, cold she, she wasn't comfortable 
Yes, thanks, Muhammad Zarakat. So describe the woman using your own words. If, you, if, I, if this is one of the questions that may face you in the exam, how will, would you, uh, will be your answer? Describe the woman using your own words. Who can do this? Describe the woman using your own words. This is the paragraph where, you, where the writer uh, uh, described the woman, okay? Uh, only three or four students raising their hands. Hur. Or you can unmute yourself, yes? Um, uh, the, the lady was scared. Yes. She was worried. Um, yes. Uh, I was empathy. Uh, she, her state was uh, makes people feel sympathy for her. Yes, that's right. This is why he tried to reassure her as possible as he could. That's right. That's right. And what about what about her her face, her hair? Okay, even the color of her hair. He was describing the face as weary and haggard, as very pale. Okay, maybe she didn't get enough sleep. Okay, so her face looks pale. Okay. Her face was, and her eyes were so tired. Yes, that's right. She was young or old? Was she was in her thirties, but her hair was white from worrying a lot. Yes. She looks young, but her hair, okay, uh, uh, some gray hair appeared, uh, start to appear, not in its time, okay? You know, this gray hair or white hair starts to appear at the age of uh, maybe uh, 50 or more, but now uh, she's in her, uh, uh, a woman of 30, but uh, some gray hair appeared, okay? Thanks, uh, Hoor. How could he know that she came by train? Very easy question. How could he know that she came by train? Sorry? Sorry, because of the ticket. Yes, he could notice that. Yeah, because there is, the, there is the second half of a return ticket in yeah. the palm of her of her hand. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Sorry. How could he know that she went to the station in a dog cart? How could he know that she went to the station in a dog cart? He noticed what? Uh, Omar? Omar Ayman? Okay. Yes, sir? Um, Mr. Because there was mud on her jacket and it was fresh and uh, uh, no vehicle can uh, cause this uh, much uh, mud uh, except the, the except cart. this this type of cart. This is a type of cart. Okay, it's called a dog cart. Okay, so no other vehicle can do this except for a dog cart. So he even knows that that very different types of vehicles that were common at that time and uh, what they can, how can they affect the driver and the passengers, okay? And he could even know where she was sitting exactly in, in this car, on the left-hand side of the driver. Yes. Uh, thanks, Salut Yazan. How did the woman know about Sherlock Holmes? How did the woman know about Sherlock Holmes? Unmute um, yourself. Question, question, question. Okay, question. Abdul This is Abdul Rahman Hisham, yes. But this noise around him, I think, I think this is your uh, air conditioner. Mm. <laughs> yes, Abdul Rahman? What's the meaning of dog cart? It's a type of cart. Type of cart. You can write in Google, okay, and find the image of it. It was common in the past. I'll see it. Uh, uh, someone was answering me, I think. How did the woman know about Shark Holmes? Kinsey? Uh, she knew of Sherlock Holmes from Miss Farintosh. Yes, that's right. Uh, how, how, uh, Sherlock, how did Sherlock Holmes help uh, Miss, uh, Farin, to Mrs. Farintosh? Uh, please unmute yourself, Kinsey. How did 
Sherlock Holmes helped Mrs. Frantush. He helped her to find what? What is the rest of the students? Only four or five raising their hands. You can find the answer here. The same students, the same students for boys and girls. So what are the rest of the class? Don't force me to choose you, okay? Now what I've thought of? Now now I've got to speak? Yes, I can speak, I can speak. Yes, sir. Uh, what was the question again? I was gone for a second. Uh, how did uh, Sherlock Holmes help Mrs. Frantush? Um, uh, with, uh, by uh, helping her with the Opal Tiara. Yes, it but was concerned with an Opal Tiara. Okay, so he, he, he helped her to find her Opal, ti opal Tiara. This is the photo I showed you. This is like in the crown. Okay, thanks a lot. I think you understood it well, this text. Uh, yes. Actually, I'd like to uh, um, please thanks uh, now from mute yourself. Uh, I'd like to move to the next text. Okay, Ma Ramtri. Before I start, what can you see in this photo? What can you see in this photo? This is uh, the second example of detective story. Lean. Yes, Lean. Can you unmute yourself and speak? They are, they are two women. Yes, two women. And one young lady or like a child. Three right? women, three women. Yes. Three, yes, three women. Okay. So, uh, what else you said? What else you can see? Mustafa Saleh? Um, or, uh, uh, this is Hoover with me, I think. Or lean? I am lean. Yes, lean. Huh. Continue, continue. Um, it seems like this uh, woman wearing pink is a detective. Yes. And the other woman came to her to ask her for something. Yes, we call it client. Okay. Yes. And what about this one standing? Um, she is making tea. Yes, maybe her assistant, the detective's assistant. Yes, that's right. Thanks. Uh, or, or, or Lean, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> Lean. Um, Ma Ramatsui, Ma Ramatsui. Okay, I think we can start reading it fast. Who can read it fast? Who can read? Raise your hand if you want to read. Raise your hand if you want to read. Uh, Al Jazi. Mama Ramus. Ramatsui. Ramatsui. Yes. By the way, uh, there is there is uh, I think a, a series about this. I can, uh, you can find it easily on YouTube. Please unmute yourself uh, till we start, uh, Jess. This is Mama Ramatsui, and this is her assistant, the one who is standing. I 
think you can find more. You can find more on YouTube. You have a lot of time to search. Okay, this is just some samples. Okay, now we can read Kenzi. Uh, sorry, Al Jazi. Mama Romatio. Yes. The woman took her hand correctly. Mama Romatio notes in the proper Botswana way, placing her left hand on her right forearm as a mark of respect. Most white people shook, shook hands very rudely, snatching just one hand and leaving their other hand free to, perf to perform all sorts of mischief. This woman had at least learned something about how to behave. Yes, thanks, uh, Al Jazi. So, a question here: What is the first thing that Mama Ramatswi noticed with the uh, white woman or her client? Uh, this is Yahya, Yahya Iman. Yahya? Yes. Yes. What did she notice? A detective. And she is focusing, she focuses with the uh, uh, very minor details. Okay. So what did she notice? The first thing she noticed. Uh, that her uh, she shook hands very rudely. Rudely? No, 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 no. You misunderstood the text. Read it again. No. The woman took her hand correctly. Mama Ramats, we noticed. Okay, the woman. This is the woman in front of her. Yes. Okay. In the proper Botswana way, placing her left hand. Try to imagine it. I can't do this now in front of you. Okay, placing her left hand on her right forearm as a mark of respect. So she notes that this woman is a well-behaved woman. Okay, most, wh most white people shook hands very rudely. Okay, but this woman didn't do this. Okay, here Mama Ramatsu is describing what she, know, what she knows about uh, uh, most white people. Shook hands very rudely, snatching just one hand and leaving the other hand for, to perform, uh, free to perform all sorts of mischief. Okay, uh, bad things, mi mi mischief m means bad things. Okay, this woman had at least learned something about how to behave. So the first thing she knows that she is a well-behaved woman. Okay, thanks, Yahya. Yahya, can you read? Okay, uh, she invited the seller to sit down in the chair, which they kept for fines, while Ma um, Makasi Use, uh, visit visit herself. herself. Visit herself with uh, with the kids. Yes. Uh, and Mrs. Angia Curtin said the visitor. I heard from somebody in my embassy that you were a detective and you might be able to help me. Yes. Uh, ma, uh, Mama Romatsui uh, raised an eyebrow embassy. Uh, the American embassy said Mrs. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Continue. I said them to give me the name of a detective agency. Maramut, we smiled. I'm glad that they, they recommended me. She said, but what do you need? Okay. Thanks, Yahya. Thanks a lot. Uh, another one. Who can read? Hashim? Where were you, Hash? Where were, were you sleeping? Hashim? Hashim Sultan? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, the woman? Uh, the woman had folded her arm, her hands on her lap, and now she looked down at them. The skin of her hands was mottled. Uh, yes, this is something else she noticed. The skin of her hands was mottled. Mama Ramatsui noticed. Mama, Rama, uh, Mama Ramatsui uh, noticed in in the way that white people white people's hands were if they were exposed to too much sun. Perhaps she was an American who had lived for many years in Africa. There were many many of these people. Yes, uh, I, I mean, I mean, uh, wait a minute. Uh, if I ask a question here, how could Mama Ramatsui, uh, um, or uh, why did Mama Ramatsui think that 
this woman had lived, uh, uh, this American woman had lived for many years in Africa. Uh, who can answer me? Hmm? Yes, Hashim, you can answer. Huh? Uh, by her hands, the, there were two. What does mean mottled? What does mean mottled? Like brownish something? Mm. Uh, you, you can use your booklet if you. Huh? Mottled? Sun tint, maybe. Yes, something like this. Okay? Yeah. That you have different colors, okay? In your hand. She has different colors. Or her skin, okay? Uh, uh, looks what parts of her skin looks uh, looks white and other parts looks brown okay uh, and this okay. you, you can you can even find this in, in your uh, in your arm okay in, in summer when we uh, wear short sleeves okay uh, or sleeveless uh, t-shirts okay you can find uh, the part of your body that's covered or under the t-shirt is uh, white and the, the, the part that's exposed to sun is brown, okay? So this is what we mean by mottled. So this is why she thought that uh, uh, Mrs. Curtin, okay, uh, had lived in uh, for many years in Africa. She noticed that her hand was mottled, okay? Had different colors. Okay, thank you, Hashim. Thank you so much. They grow to love America and uh, they grew to love Africa. Uh, Africa, sorry. And? Yeah, Africa, and they stayed some, sometimes until they died. Mm. Uh, Mama uh, you could understand what, why they, uh, they did this. She could not imagine why anybody would want to live anywhere else. How yes. did people survive in cold, northern climates with all that snow and rain and darkness? Mm. Okay. Uh, I, I think I think I don't have enough time to finish it as a, I'd like to talk about something very important uh, thanks thank thank you Hashem thank you so much uh, actually the rest of the text is so easy okay you won't find any new words here and uh, I tried yesterday to find a free copy of the of the rest of the story but uh, I couldn't so uh, try to search for it and if you find it send me to uh, to post it or to send it on the uh, uh, school's website. Uh, I'd like to tell you something about the school's website. Uh, alhamdulillah, we, we solved the problem of uh, uh, the girl's website, so we can uh, we can uh, uh, copy the, the, the same uh, quizzes that we made for the boys section, uh, and we can uh, post them on the website for the girls. Um, so this week, inshallah, uh, I'll uh, you can find all the quizzes that we prepared for the boys uh, last week. This is the first thing. As for writing, I think all of you uh, started how to write a summary. As for writing, I think all of you started how to write a summary. Or before this, before this, by the way. Um, all of you, I'm, I'm talking to the girls section, all of you uh, got your password and username for uh, the website. I think uh, if you uh, still didn't get it, you can ask your uh, teacher there in the uh, girl section to, to get it, okay? Uh, as for writing, I think all of you studied summary. I think all of you studied how to write a summary. So uh, next time, inshallah, uh, I'll discuss uh, a piece of, uh, I'll, I'll send uh, a, a summary exercise and you will send me the answers on WhatsApp and I'll correct them, inshallah, and I'll choose the, the best pieces of writing to discuss it together uh, to discuss the features of, uh, of writing a summary together uh, on the next session. So the next session will be uh, writing, discussing your answers. So I'll send the, the, the exercise and you will send the answers to me or to your teacher, okay? Uh, I can get your answers for the uh, girl section. I can get your answers from your, your teacher, okay? So and I'll choose the, the answers to discuss them here in the session. The answer for the Sherlock Holmes exercises? Yes. Okay. Uh, and if, if, if we have time next time, inshallah, we can discuss uh, this exercise together. Okay. After finishing the summary, we can discuss these questions together. Okay. So, what's the homework? Mr. Mr. So, the homework is uh, you will send the exercises and we will. Yes, the summary exercise. Okay, it may be one or two because I, I won't be able to finish two uh, or to discuss two pieces of writing uh, or two or two different summaries in one session. 
Okay. So, uh, one, sir, is man, one is like the best number. Okay. So I, I recommend well, one. Mister, when will when will be the last day to submit? Um, the last day to submit the the answers. Today, today is Tuesday. Uh, so. When, uh, uh, Thursday. 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 No problem. Thursday. No problem. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, ah, girl section, do you have any questions? I have to finish now. Huh? Girl section. When should we submit the quiz? Which quiz? The quiz is on the website. The quiz is on the website. You will find them, inshallah, today. Uh, you will find all the quizzes we prepared for the boys section. You will find them on your uh, website. Uh, Mister, whenever I uh, whenever I try to enter the website, it says that the password is wrong. But I'm sure that it's right. Uh, I think you can you can um, contact your female teacher. I think uh, she can help you well. Okay, because I don't have any access to uh, to uh, any lost password and usernames. Okay. Uh, any questions before we leave? Thank you, my dear students. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh, and goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.